and the numbers do not make pretty reading for the world's governments. The governments who push this relentlessly. And one contract about supplies between Israel and a major pharma company talks about the government acknowledging that the supplier's efforts to develop and manufacture the procedure are aspirational in nature and subject to significant risks and uncertainties. And further, the document goes on to say that the state acknowledges that the long-term effects and efficacy of the procedure are not currently known and there may also be unknown adverse effects. Were those that voluntarily rolled up their sleeves fully informed of this? And worse, did those that were forced to take it by law therefore really give their proper informed consent? And I wonder if all such related contracts like the ones the UK signed up to are in similar vein. And the binding term sheet that goes with this particular contract has been fully redacted, just about every line blacked out. Now new research shows that the use of one variant of the procedure increases the risk of a miscarriage by 57 times and of a still or fetal death by 38 times. Is this part of the unknown adverse effects mentioned in the contract? And as more comes out, I wonder for how much longer the Tory and Labour tag team will be celebrating their party joining at the hip to push its use through. As one expert said, stopping its use immediately is a no-brainer. And on top of that, for some inexplicable and totally unrelated reason, birth rates are falling across much of the developed world.